everyone! So I thought I'd do the Ride or Die makeup tag because I want to do it so bad. And obviously no one's going to tag me. Um, so I thought I'd do it myself. Um, I'm having a bit of a weird day today. I don't know how many of you work in like retail or like admin, things like that. But do you ever get to a point where you literally just go, I don't want to work here anymore. I want to go home. Bye. I literally had like a like a falling down like an American Beauty moment where I was just like, sit on my fat hairy dick. I don't want to work here anymore. So I feel kind of elated, but at the same time, I'm like, am I a stupid shit? Either way, what's done is done. I just walked out of there. Ta-da! <laughs> um, so I thought to cheer myself up, I'd do a little video. Um, also, just quickly, I'm gonna try out this new thing where I love filming, like love, love filming, love watching, love everything about YouTube, but I can't stand editing, like I can't stand it. It takes 300 years to fucking edit a video. So I'm gonna do no edit or minimal edit. So for example, if I'm reaching for one of the Ride or Die products, I'll edit that bit out. But apart from that, I don't, if I'm rambling on and on and on and on, like I'm kind of doing now, I'm just gonna leave it in because who, who, who cares? It's only me and you watching. Yeah, I'm fine with that. You know, take me or leave me. Take me. <laughs> Let's get into it. These are the Ride or Die products. That. Yeah, that I love. Okay, so my first product that I am just, I'm so obsessed with it. I'm not even sure if it's a proper primer. It doesn't actually stay primer in the name, but it does a good job of it. And um, this is the Clique Pore Minimizer Refining Serum. <sighs> okay, my the problem with my skin, which I know I've got dry skin, it almost sounds like a remix and we've just been like dry skin, dry skin, but I do have really bad dry skin. Also, I've got really bad, really, really, really bad pores here. They're really big. This makes my skin look photoshopped. Like, actually, actually photoshopped. It's so weird. And I try and save it for, like, special occasions, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't happen. I just use it all the time. I'm obsessed with it. Have been for the past year or so. I just love it. I just love it. And also, as well, it's not one of those silicone slash dimethicone um you know, kind of consistencies. It's that lotion-y one that, I don't know about you, but I love them and it's really hydrating. And yeah, I just, I love it. So the next thing, okay, I, I use this to prime slash conceal my lids before going in the shadow. My thoughts on, it's a tart shape too. I get the lightest one because, look at me. Um, My feelings on this are a little bit strange. This smells like, an old woman wearing perfume farted in a lunchbox and left it there for like a month. Like, this is, this is so heavily fragranced, this is my problem, it's so heavily fragranced that when I first got it I was like, yeah, slapping it on because it took me forever to get it. So I put it under my eyes, blah, 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 not too much, but you know, where you put concealer, put it on and every time I wear this, every single consecutive time, I will break out for days afterwards and the, the like big red painful welts on my skin and my skin's it's all right it's not you know i don't really get spots or anything so this there's something in it i think it might be because it's so perfumed that just breaks me the fuck so bad i don't want to sell it because i'm a petty little bitch and it took me forever to get it so i keep it and i use this to prime my eyes it does a good job this isn't in any order by the way, I'm just kind of picking things as I go. Um, my favourite foundation in the world ever, ever and has been for about five years is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade 1C1 Coolbone. I love my look. I feel like it's my wedding day. I love this so much. Um, no, honestly, it's it's just amazing. It's not it's not like wearing a mask where you're like, oh, it's really thick but if you've got anything wrong with your skin anything could be rosacea could be something really or it could be just little blemishes this will cover it up and it doesn't look thick it's amazing and i've never ever had a color where it's such a perfect match for my skin it lasts forever just this would last like an atomic blitz like it doesn't come off your skin obsessed with it love it and i had to buy a pump because i was sick of wasting all of it but yeah there you go i still love it um 
Also, I can't, some of these I couldn't pick two, or I've had, I couldn't pick two. Couldn't pick one, so I've had to do like a little special shout out to like a different one. This is the Fit Me by Maybelline. It's the Matt and Paulus. I'm in the colour 105. Sometimes I will actually choose this over the Estee Lauder. I just love, I love them both so much, so, so much. For this, I've got a backup and I've got one in my bag as well. I love this so much, so much. It covers everything. It is just a perfect shade for me. It When it says Paulus, again, it just looks like you've got perfect skin perfect skin it's so good so yeah. my favorite concealer ever and i mean ever if you've ever watched any sorry about that um yeah my favorite concealer ever in the world ever if you've seen any videos of mine you will know what i'm about to say is the collection last imperfection in the color in the color light Fur, fur. Um, this is perfect. This is a perfect product. It is perfect. It's not too sheer. It's not too heavy. It's just in the middle where if you've got bags, if you've got anything like that, this will cover it and it will cover it for like 16 hours. It's just perfect. It's, oh, I just love it. I just love it so much. I've gone through, yeah, I've gone through about six of these and I wear it all the time, every single day I'll wear this. I'm obsessed with it, yet to find anything that I like as much as this, so yeah. So to set my face, my face, <laughs> to like bake with or to set my face with is the Earth Spun by Cody. Again with the smell, with this though, it's kind of like, have you ever been on like a bus to Morrison's and there's just loads of old ladies like to, and there's that smell in the air. It's like that but it does such a good job of um, of setting your face and kind of cutting your contour if you like that thing and I think it's about £12 on Amazon and you get a look how much you get it's so good I really like it so yeah contour we all love contour <clears throat> I have recently found this this is like a new love for me but I am I, I am obsessed with it obsessed with this this is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Dolce de Leche. <laughs> Just murdered that. Dolce de Leche. <laughs> um, yeah. You know what I mean, whatever it's called. Um, this is the perfect colour, perfect contouring colour for fur skinned people. It really is. It's not too orangey where it looks like you've got a line on your face. It's not ashy where you look like you've got mud on your face. It's just per it's perfect like i i don't know whether this is going to make sense but um what's that color i don't know whether this is going to make sense but i like the look of knowing that i've got contour on i put it on for a reason i want to cut the cheekbones and make me face look slimmer but i don't want it to look like two lines on my face because that looks it's just not my what i want to like this literally carves them out perfectly and you've just got really i just love it i love it Again, this is a new, a new love of mine. Um, this is Wet n Wild, um, pearlescent pink blush. I love this blush so much. I never used to bother with blush because you'd put it on and an hour after it'd just be gone. Like it, it wouldn't be there anymore. So what's the point in it? This, a lot of people say this is a dupe for the Nars orgasm. It might be. I don't know. I don't think I've ever tried that it looks too pink for me but this is like more peach than pink and i love peach blushes um it's got little like specks of glitter in like shimmer it's it's so nice it makes you look really healthy because it's got little shimmery bits in it's just and it lasts all day when you put it on it's so nice and just just get it my favorite mascara in the universe so far um, is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Oh, it's so, it's so good. I messed my eyelashes up by putting um, semi-permanent ones on and it was almost like a calmer move to be honest. I put them all on and I was fluttering about and then when you take them off it, it's, it made them just go really little. <laughs> I had little tiny dinky lashes and it I just looked like a strange dinosaur for like a month 
This is the only thing that really made them fluttery and just... I just love it. This mascara will make your lashes so, so long. So long. I'm obsessed with it. hate the fact that it's from Tarte. Not because I don't like Tarte, but because Tarte is so hard for us to get in the UK. Unless you go on like QVC or something, but apart from that, if that's sold out, you have to buy directly from the website, so... But this is the best mascara I've ever tried. It's so black. Holds a curl, love it. Okay, eyeshadows. I spent a good like f 14 minutes just sat there going, oh, yeah, but that's good. Because yeah. as makeup enthusiasts, we we just love palettes. We've got this obsession with them, and I'm no different. But I'd say my my favourite formula and just, just favourite eyeshadows ever. Have you, have you, what? Ever had to stick with one? kind of brand for eyeshadows, it would 110% be the Makeup Geek shadows. Oh my god, I just love them. They're so buttery and so easy to blend. The way I can describe these is, if you're bad at makeup, not bad, but if you're having trouble, say, like blending, or these will make you look like an, like an Instagram baddie with your... because they're so easy to blend and you look like a pro with them, they're so good. My personal favourite shades are... It's got to be. I love Bitten. <laughs> I know everyone does, but it, <sighs> there's Bitten. Worst watch ever, but that's Bitten. I also love, just really quickly. So, Houdini. Who, yeah, oh god. So, this is Houdini. This is a foiled one. That is so. I hope you can kind of just admire the sheen of that. It's so nice. There's, there's a few now, there's Cocoa Burr, there's Burlesques is a nice one. Oh! Cherry Cola, one second. Cherry Cola is, yeah, it's so nice. It's like this, what is with my swatches? I'm not doing them justice, but yeah, they're just so easy to work with. I'm obsessed with them. Yeah, but a little special, again, a little special shout out because I kind of, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not cheating, in my mind, I'm not cheating with this challenge because that's like a I put it together palette. These palettes are, you know, they came in palette form. So, so um, yeah, my favourite like palette, already made palette, is the Cocoa Blend by Zoeva. I have been obsessed with this since like 2015, early 2015. If you're, if you're like a warm toned kind of girl and you've not got this, what are you doing with your life? Like, it's so nice. I need to... Oh, just look at this. Okay. One, that was one swatch. This is the colour. Warm notes. Get ready. Oh, look at that. Can you see? They're such good quality. They're such good quality. They last all day. They're dead, 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 dead easy to blend. This is, um... That's I think gold ganache, I think. It's like look at that, look at those swatches. They're so so again, so easy to blend, so buttery, obsessed with this palette. I'm hoping that it doesn't go bad or like run out, but if it does, I would buy it the very same day. I love it. And just obviously because I'm a girl who likes makeup and I like warm coloured shadows, I obviously have to mention the modern renaissance um for about a year i was annoyed at this palette because i didn't get it because everyone was just up its ass like yeah it's so good it's so good i was kind of like oh, it can't be that good finally caved and got it and it is that good it, it is like just you can make as well i've never ever worked with a palette that you can make so many different looks out of and you, you can't tell that it's all from the same palette if if you're kind of reluctant to buy this because you're sick of the hype, just forget it, just buy it, it's... You will like it. You will like it. Okay, we're on the last few products. We're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, so... Eyebrows. Eyebrows. I was going to choose the Anastasia Dip Brow because it's good. I've got it in the shade Granite, it's good. But, a few years ago, I got this palette, the Naked Basics original by Urban Decay and I started using, I don't know what made me want to do it but the colour Faint as like a powder through my brows. I 
cannot understand why this works so well as like an eye brow product. I, I can't understand it, but it works really well. It's really pigmented. You can carve out what shape you want so easy. It lasts all day, it doesn't bulge. Even when it's like really hot outside and you're sweating, this doesn't budge from your eyebrows. It's so, so good. Even when, you know when uh, it gets to the point where you need your brows doing and they're a bit crazy looking. If you put these on, you can make a perfect brow, it doesn't matter. It's so good, so yeah. And the thing is though, I've looked for just like a singular pan of this colour, faint. They don't seem to make one. So will I repurchase this whole palette for that colour? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely will. I love that. Obsessed with it. I use it again every day. So there's that and obviously the gimme brow. The gimme brow. Again, use this every single day. This is a, like a travel mini and um, this has lasted me 300 years. I use this literally every day and it's not going. It's weird. Um, but once it gets to the point where this is finally run out, I will 100% repurchase, repurchase? Purchase the big size because even if your eyebrows are perfect and sculpted, this will make them look better. A hundred percent makes them look natural and like bushy and like, I just love this. Love it. Super quick. I forgot my eyeliner. Just like my life today, this video is just all over the place. Um, this is the Zoeva eyeliner in black is black and it's called a cat eye pen. Got this from Beauty Bay and it's... It really is like the, the blackest black, it's so good. Don't know whether you can, I'm such a YouTuber, <laughs> but seriously, I don't know whether you can see how kind of precise that edge is. I do a wing all the time, like, and I've been doing it for years, 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 so I kind of can do it quite quick. This though makes it so easy to do a wing, so if you're interested and you want to learn how to kind of do that look, get this. I think, it's, I think it was seven pounds for Beauty Bear, and it's so good and it does really help us think with yeah application so that's my favorite okay i feel like i've been rambling on <laughs> and rambling on but we're near the end so i've got lip wise i've got a favorite oh my god i forgot highlighter are you okay okay right we'll do lip and then highlighter because but okay so i'm going to do favorite shade and then favorite formula of the lip okay so my favourite shade in the world is Jeffree Star Unicorn Boards. If you watch my declutter video, I'm not going to go on about rusty reds anymore. Um, but, like, just look at that colour. It's just, it's so nice. And I'm glad that they're a little bit easier to get in the UK now. Do you remember when they never had them in stock anywhere? And everyone was, like, fighting to the death over them. But, yeah, these, these, this is my favourite shade in the world of looking lipstick. Formula wise, these, oh my god, I, I need every single one of them because I was blown away by, by just how good these are. Um, these is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Mattes and this is the colour Ecstasy. I just want to try and kind of show you how um, like creamy these are, I don't know if you can see that. But I put this on about 7 o'clock in the evening before going out, got back in the next day about nine in the morning um so i had it on for hours and hours and hours usually with dark because this is kind of darker shades the inner rim fades and that's fine like it just happens it's lipstick it's not going to stay on forever this actually does stay on forever it doesn't um like crumble or fade in the middle it literally just stays on your lips and nothing budges it i've never experienced anything like it genuinely i don't know why everyone isn't talking about them I'm I don't get it um but yeah had this on for like however many like 14 hours well like 14 hours and it, it literally didn't budge from the inner rim anywhere there was no cracks in it it stayed exactly how it looked when I first put it on it was madness and yeah I want every single one of them every single one highlighter <laughs> highlighter okay I don't know why I left this out because this is my favourite thing to do in makeup. Um, but this is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Looks like this. I don't know about anyone who's got this, but when I first opened this up in the post, I was like, 
it is literally like the size of a polo like it's like the size of like a, a contact lens like it's so small but when you see the color let's watch with that let's thumb it right so um it looks like i'm quite tired at the minute um it looks like that and if you want to blind someone from across the city you can't even put this on it gives you like j-lo cheeks like golden goddess type of this is just the most intense highlighter i've found um i've got the jeffree star skin frost in ice cold and peach goddess i might do a different video on how i feel about them i like them but mm. so that was my ride or die tag thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it um if you haven't subscribed already i would love it if you subscribe i would love that i would love to kind of build this channel and talk to you more and just yeah I would love that so subscribe if you would like to um and yeah I hope you guys for watching and see you soon bye guys